Well, I may or may not have just disappeared into oblivion for the last month and a half, having missed some incredibly important things such as the Bitcoin ETF approval which I'm still yet to give a single comment on, compared to some other influencers who've already given hundreds. But if you were to ask me if I'd miss this much time again during this particular period, I'd say yes every single time and here's why. The thesis we left with before my absence was what again? The idea of doing nothing. It was this idea that even allowed me to take this long of an absence. Where our bags were generally packed, we bought the lows of 2022 and 2023. And it was the surge of Bitcoin from 26,000 to 44,000 that confirmed to me the bullish part of this cycle has begun. I then left soon after because the other big part of the equation being the ETF was also something we had long been covering in terms of outcomes. Where we stated the day the ETF is approved we'd either quickly surge to near highs soon after. Or my base case which was the ETF approval would mark a local top and begin the pre-having correction we often see of what I deemed would be at least 30 to 50%. And so when the ETF was approved, being January 10th, we in fact got what was a local top at just under 49,000, and we've corrected as low as 21% so far and I'll get to what I expect in terms of price action in a second. But more importantly do you see how there's no need for dialogue on every single news story or every single bit of price action? There's probably thousands of quote-unquote important things that happened in crypto during those days I was gone, but price has generally stayed in this range. I don't care what happened it literally doesn't matter. If you make money trading every day that's a different discussion. But if you're like me a macro four-year trader where our only job is to literally buy in these lows here and sell these tops here, then don't fret about all these details along the way. You just have the duty of first making sure is this four-year trend still on track or has the pattern broken. Well I can confidently say the pattern is still in play. And then your next job after that is to pick the narratives you want to ride during the cycles. This isn't even something you have to do for example Bitcoin can literally be all you buy and sell it'll work. Of course that's more for people dealing with serious size who only need a 2 to 5x to make millions plus. But for the rest of us who want more gains we just pick narratives we think are strong. Which I think has been the number one theme of this channel where so far we've been extremely right with some like gaming and artificial intelligence intelligence. I assume we don't need to talk about the likes of Solana and Render BitTensor and Akash Network, but on the same note I've been horribly wrong so far with other narratives too. For example like a lot of the crypto space I didn't see ETH performing as poorly as it has thus far, and as a result a highly speculative narrative I had strong belief in was the LSD Fi space. But so far assets like Tenet and Libra Finance have been performing lackluster where Libra just made a new low recently. We're also down 50% on Zypher for example, but up 100% on Pith and Celestia. In general during this wave if you get more right than wrong you're doing better than most. And in fact the beauty of buying here is you'll still be up substantially by the end. So for example even if ETH is lagging the project and its narratives will still go up massively by the end, they may only 10x though versus a presumed 20x. I want you to be extremely careful of influencers on YouTube and Twitter that post often, not to say specific names, but look into their incentive why are they so engaged. What you'll often find is a lot of these influencers actually got into crypto early back during the 2017 cycles and some even earlier, they made a ton of money extreme credit to them. But they now feel entitled to give opinions on everything there is, and not to take anything away. But making money in crypto back during those days wasn't a skill it was more a belief that paid off. But nowadays as you're all well aware it's become a lot more player versus player. Ask yourself if they'd be able to make it again if they had to start from scratch today. Their motive to post so often is it's now become their business it's what drives their cash flow. And I know I said I wasn't going to say names but this crypto rover dude for example. Tweeting 20 times a day raking in that X impression revenue to then get enough size where just buying the blue chip cryptos like Bitcoin is enough to generate huge gains. Eliminating the skill factor. My point is this. If you're spending your time listening to every crypto opinion there is every single day you will go absolutely insane. Majority of this stuff is garbage and doesn't matter. Pick the few news sources and influencers whose opinions you trust. And play the long cycle game if you're not a trader. With that tangent out the way let's get into the meat and potatoes of this show. You know it's so weird how this chart works because the 30, 40, and 50% drawdowns from our local top just so happen to line up with absolutely perfect supports. It should also be worth noting that a 60% drawdown lines up well with that CME gap down at 1920k. I said way back my base 
case was a 30 to 50 percent drawdown. And you know what I guess I'm still kind of leaning toward that. But what I will say is that a 20 plus percent sell the news event might just suffice for the magnitude of what this particular event was. Those saying it would not be a sell the news event are evidently wrong, but where their argument originated from still applies. We just got an update that the spot Bitcoin ETF combined holds 3.3 percent of the current supply which is a substantial bite off already. There's only so much downside price action can face before this basic price elasticity mechanism start pulling Bitcoin up. On a personal level what I'd like to see happen is for us to form a nice range in Bitcoin to accumulate for a while. If it touches the bottom side of this range that's the minimum 30% pullback which would bring BTC to 34,000. I don't even want Bitcoin overextending and smashing the 50,000s let alone getting to highs quite yet. A 49,000 to 34,000 dollar correction and accumulation thereafter until let's say the halving would be extremely healthy. Where in the meanwhile altcoins can find their local bottom and hopefully continue to trend higher. Speaking of altcoins which ones would I be looking at where are my eyes at right now? If you remember last video I said my next video would be a portfolio I'd build from scratch today for the most gains. This isn't that video yet I'll post that next. I sort of wanted to make an icebreaker for my return so of course be subbed for that very important upload. But I do feel right now some altcoins are cheap here. Something like gaming has quieted down substantially relative to how all gaming projects were going berserk two months ago. This beam chart looks excellent, and I honestly think a 1.7 to 1.8 cent purchase will be pretty killer going forward. Vulcan Forged is also setting up for an extremely easy trade here, having rejected off these hold levels like you'd expect, and likely going to flip this previous resistance into support here. I'd be making trades or even long-term investments around the 4 to $5 zone as PYR in my opinion gets to at least 30 bucks on the lower end, to targets as much as 60 or even 80 bucks on the higher end. I also think Miria at this current 0.007 level is something I'd pay attention to. But it's the 0.0042 level I'd start really bidding if we get down here during that possible Bitcoin pullback. But even right now guys is not a horrible spot. Shrapnel also another one big time another one. Remember narratives rotate. Right now everyone is looking elsewhere at different narratives. But the gaming projects I just mentioned absolutely nothing is wrong with them in fact they've improved since those initial big pumps. And eventually the narrative will rotate back to gaming and will get their second big pumps where these levels would have seemed like great buys in the long run. This is exactly how pumps work in the bull market, where we go looping around this cycle over and over again until liquidity dries up and everything falls apart. The absolute last thing you want to be is the person buying coins on the narrative that's already gone up, as remember it's price that creates narratives. If the injective ecosystem pumps guess what that becomes the narrative, it then has that second wind of buyers which would be those people coming in too late. But by then they've already missed out a lot. And guess what these buyers here have already exited and moved on to the next thing which I guess would currently be AI with Tau going up 150% in a couple weeks. But if you're now all of a sudden interested in Tau and buying it at these higher three $400 levels when it was just sub 200 a couple weeks ago, then I don't know what to say. As of right now this very moment if you're looking for trades or long-term investments I'd be looking at the gaming ecosystem. Also Metaverse Gems I believe a narrative many are fading or have forgot about but just wait until it pops back around. And also specific projects like Inspect which sort of integrates Web 2 apps into Web 3 it's a really cool thing the team knows what they're doing. And from this current 18 cent level it can honestly 10x in my opinion perhaps even more. I sold my initial holdings and so if it makes you feel any better. I too will start buying at this current level and hopefully hopefully lower into this blue box between 16 to as low as 7 cents. Also the Jupiter Air drop happened recently so congrats to you who got the drop. I'm hoping you've sold your tokens and are planning on buying back lower. You know the drill this 17 to 35 cent range is where I will start buying back jupe tokens. I'll leave a buy bit and bit get link in the description for you to sign up if you want to buy and trade all these and other crypto. This was sort of my I'm officially back video to say we'll be resuming things to normal where again the next video will be a portfolio I'd build today for the most gains. So make sure you are subbed. Thank you all so much see you soon.